Time now for top picks from our guest Jordan Zinberg. Go easy is the first one, ticker symbol GSY on the TSX. Jordan? So go easy is a specialty lender, continues to grow their loan book rapidly through product expansion. I think the two key things um, of late, aside from Q1 results, were, which were very solid, the company announced a $40 million minority investment in a company called Canada Drives, which I think will really help their rapidly growing auto lending business. The second and probably more important announcement, which investors seem to have missed, was a dramatic increase in their credit line. Their credit line went from 900 million to 1.5 billion, so a $600 million increase in their credit line. This is important because the company is now fully funded through 2025. Uh, I can see a pathway to about a $4 billion loan book, which should give you about $20 a share in EPS. So $20 a share in earnings against the stock price around 100 bucks. Uh, you're now buying a company that grows at 20% or more consistently on about six times next year's earnings. So uh, I continue to be very excited about GoEasy. Okay. Uh, Jordan told us during the program that he would have more on the specialty lending space, and there you go. Go easy, one of his uh, top picks, ticker symbol GSY on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Converge Technology is number two. That's uh, also a TSX traded stock, uh, ticker symbol CTS. Jordan? Yeah, so CTS is an IT services business. It's focused on mid-market customers, uh, both in North America and Europe. The company has been growing extremely quickly, one of the fastest growing companies that we follow. I'm very perplexed with the stock price here. Um, the company's delivered on their acquisition plan. They've delivered, delivered solid, solid organic growth. Uh, regardless of the metric you use, the numbers are really impressive. So for the balance of the year, I think you'll see some additional acquisitions. I think you'll see an increase in their credit facilities potentially, uh, and I think you'll see potentially even a dividend or a share buyback uh, with all their free cash flow. The bottom line is Converge is growing about twice as fast as their peers, but it trades at half the valuation, which makes no sense to me. So a uh, very high conviction idea um, for me, Converge Technologies. Okay, and pa a top pick rather, top pick number three, the final one of the day, Chesswood Group, also TSX traded, ticker symbol CHW, Jordan. I told you I'd have lots of lenders for you today, and here's <laughs> another one. Uh, Chesswood is a commercial finance business. It's been around for years, but it's been going undergoing a bit of a transformation over the past couple of years. And I think for investors, if they're able to spot transformations, it, it can be a really good source of alpha. And I think that's what we have here with Chesswood. Two years ago, they brought on a new CEO. His name is Ryan Marr, and he's done a tremendous job um, diversifying both the product offering uh, and equally as important, the funding sources. So if you look at the last couple quarters, this company is absolutely growing like crazy. They bought an auto lending business called Rifco. They just closed on the acquisition of an investment manager called Waypoint. Uh, the bottom line here is companies growing fast. You've got a stock trading on about five times earnings. And in addition to that, you get a 4% dividend yield while you wait. So it's a small one. It's not very well known. Uh, but I do think you're going to be hearing more about Chesswood over the coming quarters and, and coming years. So, again, uh, alternative lending uh, has been a theme of yours on this program. I know you were not here to talk about uh, large cap stocks, but how would you characterize uh, the choices that an investor would make when he or she looks at the shares of the big Canadian banks, all well off their peaks, uh, all, all of, cor of course, continuing to pay uh, their dividends, uh, and, and the investor wondering, what should I do? Buy shares, for instance, of Royal Bank of Canada or buy shares of one, one of the uh, alternative lenders that you've sketched out for us today? I'm not sure that they're mutually exclusive. I think you know Canadian investors have a phenomenal choice within this sector because we've got these highly profitable oligopolistic banks like a Royal Bank, for example. But I think you know if you want a little more torque in the portfolio, you can supplement with a Go Easy or a Chesswood. And what you're going to get is you're going to get higher growth. So you're going to get companies that are growing probably twice as fast. And you're going to get stocks that are trading on about half the valuations. And the dividends are comparable. So I don't think it's an either or. I think have your core portfolio and your core positions in your banks. And then augment a little bit with some of the names uh, similar to what we've talked about today. And I think you'll get a little bit more growth out of those names uh, going forward. Okay, Jordan.